Hi, I'm Dan. Thanks for checking in and seeing what's going on in DimGuard. Um, special thank you to the Patreon backers and the folks who are participating in Volume 24 on Kickstarter. So the, the current big things, uh, both at the forefront and under the hood, um, we sent out the titles for... Um, uh, the Patreon backers this morning uh, using the new distribution system. It went great, very happy with that. Um, it involved a single button click and oh, much, much improved. Very happy with, with that. Um, pat myself on the back there. Um, then uh, the volume 24 closes on Sunday. Uh, I know Eric has been out there beating the weeds in social media land, um, and uh, we appreciate him for that. Um, uh, so that's great. Um, looks like there's a pretty significant uptick in Volume 24 from Volume 23. Um, really happy to see that. Um, uh, if we can build you know, 10% volume over volume, then we're, we're doing great, right? Um, we can, I'll, I'll just tell you the, the end goal there, the, the, the thing that we're building towards through all of this, this entire restructuring to, to build a community um, that is integrated, right, with, um, is we would like to see a um, like a convention shared experience evolved from this. Um, we were we were big fans of Living Greyhawk um, uh, back in three point five. Um, I like the organizational elements of Adventures League in fifth edition. Uh, the actual content uh, has some pretty significant problems, um, but the but the administration I'm pretty uh, I'm pretty impressed with. I think they do a good job of organizing and, and uh, getting especially getting new people into the game, which is a great great thing. Now there's another group called uh, Greyhawk Reborn, centered in um, the central eastern coast. Um, I've run into them. I've played some of them at the major conventions, and they're they they are interesting. Um, there's a lot of variation there, right? Um, it's it's not really so much a campaign as a collaboration of individual DMs because each DM in that campaign is responsible for developing their own content. And they can only run the content that, that they that they develop themselves. So you can't like say, "Well, I'm going to develop content for this convention, and we're going to run this adventure for X number of tables with X number of DMs." It's one DM is able to present one module, at, and they can present it, you know, in several consecutive slots. But um, I think they 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 really got themselves into a corner regarding the IP approach that they've taken um, so anyway but but the reason that came up is because I am such a fan of Greyhawk um, it would be great to see a, a wide ranging Greyhawk shared campaign anyway that's where we hope to go all right so um, I don't know if we're going to get there certainly not in the early part of 2018. I'm, I'm premiering. The, the plan is to begin premiering Dim Guard Adventures at conventions. Um, that is not going smoothly. Um, we have confirmation. The first one would be Winter Fantasy in February, and we got a confirmation that we would be presenting there. But we are still not on the schedule, and I can't get a status on that. So I'm gonna have to uh, kind of shake the trees there to find out what's going on. Um, but the idea is is that we would begin premiering Dimgard modules um, and widen the 
number of DMs presenting DIM guard modules um, and implement some standardization as far as reporting goes and character tracking and that sort of thing. And we, we, we have the rudimentary uh, processes to do that um, on danhans.biz, which we've now implemented www.dimguard.com, um, which just points to um, a portion of danhans.biz that's dedicated to DimGuard, but that's okay. Um, and so where we would like to go, it looks like fifth edition is going to be around for a long time. Um, yeah, it looks like it's going to be around for a long time. And uh, where we would like to go is, uh, is, is, you know, a year from now or whenever, um, have it where if you were a serious player, right, if, you, if you've moved past the entry level, um, that Adventures League presents and said, okay, now I'm ready to really get into some serious campaigning with with challenging modules and uh, I'm able to build my own meta organizations and use Renown to do some really cool things, um, really affect a, a big campaign, um, then you would be able to do that at a variety of, of conventions. Um, and, uh, but like I say, that's not going to be, that's many months off. Um, maybe not even in 2018. Yeah, probably not even in 2018. That might be a goal for 2019. So, anyway, um, as far as the actual adventures go, we worked out the kinks in the, um, the Warlock conflict, although we still don't have a name. Um, I will give you a little hint. Um, all, so, in all of these 21 episode adventures, right, we, we build towards the climactic 21st episode. Uh, we we had Arethesia, we had Lawleth, um, and uh, so in this Warlock cycle trilogy or campaign, whatever you want to call it, um, the, the the gist of it is you've got um, patron themes devils and demons who go to war um, through their warlock minions, through their, their warlock to serve them. Um, and so uh, obviously, it's not, I mean, just just from the, the description, you realize, oh yeah, so the, the 21st episode, we're going to be facing an arch fiend of some kind. But I will just tease this a little bit here, although we're looking at uh, you know, this won't come up until like next September, until September. But uh, all four of the final um, episodes, 18, 19, 20, and 21, are all opportunities to face various arch fiends. So if you've ever said, I wonder how my fighter would stand up against this or Demogorgon or Jublex, or whoever we happen to end up at, um, that will be your opportunity to, to find out. Um, uh, it had a shaky start. Um, it was like herding cats. Warlocks can go in so many directions. They can. There's such a uh, fertile ground for role playing that that trying to design a storyline that will get everyone moving in the same direction when they could each move in such a wide variety of directions um, was very difficult, but I think we've accomplished it. Um, the first four of those will be offered in March. The first one will be a teaser, of course, and then the, the three will be in, in the March volume, um, which I guess will be 27, volume 27. Um, so uh, that's what's going on. Thanks for checking in. Uh, once again, I want to thank all of the the backers in the various forms. Um, you are the reason we do this. We wouldn't do it without you. We're not just looking to um, talk to ourselves with no with no participation, with no audience um, and no community. Then uh, we really have no reason to continue. And and it's it's very re refreshing, very encouraging that um, 
that we do have a community to, to build towards. So have a great New Year's and I will give an update at least once next week.